An Apple Valley woman is in the hospital tonight after a disturbing chain of events. It all started when the woman set her own home on fire. Firefighters and police were called to the 4700 block of 142nd Street West after a neighbor called 911. Fox 9's Jody Ambrose is live in Apple Valley now with more on what happened. Jody. Well, Heidi, neighbors say this family did have their problems and the death of their son recently only added to the difficulties. But police still aren't exactly sure what led this wife and mother to destroy her own home and try to kill herself. Rhonda Arkley lost her son two weeks ago and now she's lost her home. Police say she set her own house on fire, dousing it with gasoline while she and her husband were inside. It was a pretty big fire in the back of the house. One neighbor shot this cell phone video as the flames devoured the house on 142nd Street West in Apple Valley. I was scared I was going to go into like the neighbor's house. I was hoping nobody was in there. Um, I didn't know what was going on. Brian O'Neill says he saw the flames, called 911, and oh, ran out yeah. to help. The house was already getting pretty, pretty engulfed, and uh, the lady was outside, and we tried to make sure that there was nobody else in the house. Police say Arkley's husband escaped the fire. Officers found the 49-year-old woman in a car parked in the driveway, stabbing herself with a screwdriver. Arkley then sped off into Egan with police on her tail. We ended up pursuing her uh, up into Egan. Uh, Egan was able to put some uh, stop sticks out, some spikes that deflated her tires in the area of Pilot Knob Road and Cliff Road, and then that ended the, uh, the police pursuit. Officers pulled Arkley out of the car after she stabbed herself again. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital. Police tell us they've been called to the home at least six times in the past year for domestic disturbances. Two weeks ago, officers found Arkley's 23-year-old son dead inside the house. The death is still under investigation. There is no signs of trauma or foul play. Police tell us they still don't know what led up to the fire and the desperate suicide attempt. But neighbors who know the family are sympathetic. Kind of a double double whammy here for them. So we'll certainly be praying for them. Rhonda Arkley ran as a DFL candidate for state senate back in 2002 and lost. She is well known in this Apple Valley neighborhood and has lived on this block for several years, according to neighbors. And she was taken to Regents Hospital for stab wounds and some minor burns. Her us husband also taken to Regents for some minor burns. Police say both are expected to be okay. Heidi. Boy, it's just such a tragic story, Jody. In fact, you said that police had been called to the home several times before. Anyone ever charged for a crime? Well, we did look into their backgrounds, and we found out that Rhonda Arkley was charged back in 2005 for fifth-degree domestic assault, and she served one year probation. So it looks like this family has been having problems for quite some time. All right, Jody, thank you.